that you have encountered. Can you guess what is this? If your answer is Facebook, you are definitely right. Next icon. Can you guess what is this? That's right. That is LinkedIn. If you are going to improve your personal development, you will specifically go to that app. Next icon. All right, that is very common. That is YouTube app or icon. Next icon, we have. All right, so that is is Snapchat. This is for sharing pictures and videos. And the last one we have. Very good. That is Instagram. You are all using Instagram for sure. During this, this pandemic, there are different ways in which we can cope up to the anxieties that we are experiencing. And learning new things for the new normal can help you cope up with, that, with the negative effect of that experience. And multimedia resources will provide us venues for you to express yourself. You can actually take this as a challenge for you to discover your talents and be able to make use of them and for you to be a productive one. 
So for today's lesson, we are going to discuss the different types of social media. First, we have print media. So when we say print media, from the word itself, print, it means it is written. And under this are the newspaper, magazine, books, banners, flyers, and brochure. Next, we have broadcast media. So from the word or from the term broadcast, it is or it covers a wide range of media platforms or media are wide form of communication methods. So under this broadcast media, we have televisions, radio, cinema, and video advertising. And for the third, we have internet media. Actually, there are many forms of internet media. These are social network or website including Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Tumblr, LinkedIn, Snapchat, Kara, Reddit, Pinterest, and many more. So these networks are called as relationship network. Next, we have podcasts. So when we say podcast, it is a series of audios on particular topic or theme. We can listen to audio and the theme on computer or mobile phone. For online forums, we have Reddit, Kara, Vig, and many more. So these are online places where we can share knowledge, comment, message, or discuss a particular topic. For photo sharing, of course, we have Instagram, Imgur, and Snapchat. For video sharing, we have YouTube. So when I say YouTube, it is a website on which users can upload and share videos. For blogging and publishing network, when we say blogging, it is a written or it, it is like a written diary for individuals. So wherein it is being a, an individual can write about her and personally upload uh, information about her. And we have WordPress, Tumblr, and Medium. For Consumer Review Network, so when we say Consumer Review Network, it is a site wherein there is a customer feedback about a particular product on online shopping. So we have Yelp, Zomato, and TripAdvisor. For social napping, shopping networks, of course, we have Polybor, Etsy, and Fancy. For discussion review, of course, we have Facebook, Reddit, and Kara. With that simple discussion of the different tools and user resources, I think you're not you're now ready for a simple activity. I want you to assess and tell whether the following statement is advantage or disadvantage of multimedia resources. Let's take number one. Read the statement. Multimedia enhances the effect of text presentations quality okay so that is a, a that is an advantage of multimedia next statement we have it is not interactive it one way or no feedback of course that statement is a disadvantage of multimedia next we have it can be used for educational as well as entertainment purpose. Very good. So that is an advantage of multimedia resources. Next, we have... It is complex to create and time-consuming sometimes. So we can consider that as a disadvantage of multimedia resources. And the last one we have, it improves the quality of presentation and retains the attention of the audience. 
Nice. So that is an advantage of multimedia resources. So how do you go? I hope you enjoy that. And to wrap everything up that we have learned from this lesson, write the two to three interpretation of the picture. So you can pass to your teachers your interpretation about this picture. And let us see how you can oh how you catch up with the lesson. And I want you to remember that multimedia resources, particularly internet media, are effective platforms for us to share information and personal experiences and reflection. And always remember this, amidst any crisis, the Filipino faith will never cease but continue to strengthen. So this picture tells us a lot of story through social media. I think you're now ready for post-test. Determine what category do these items belong and choose your answer from the box below. Okay, you can pass your answer to your teacher on this activity. Congratulations, you did it! Bye! See you in our next session. Happy learning!